Hi, I'm Tankfish, and now you will start breathing manually, as that is the first step of learning the art of breathing. Welcome to Demonfall, a game that will spoil you the entire f***ing story of Demon Slayer. There were no spoiler alerts, so a lot of kids got cut, including me. Oh look, Demonfall, an RPG game about my favorite anime, Demon Slayer. What? Why is everyone dead? Such a shame you didn't read the manga. In this game, you will have the wonderful experience of waiting for a really long time for the game to load. Decide to skip the loading, can't find the skip button, getting stuck in the loading screen, end up in this f***ing place, restart the game and repeat. Dear creators, what is the point of a loading screen if everyone just skips it? So yeah, this game will be forever remembered as that one game with a really long loading screen that sometimes crashes your game. Other than that, it is one of the rare Roblox anime games without the scuffed names. So I didn't have the chance to scroll through the wiki and laugh at names for 30 minutes. Imagine if they changed Tanjiro to Sinjiro or Kostjiro. Evil Tanjiro. Arc Tanjiro. <laughs> Character customization is just an illusion of free will and free choices. You either look edgy as f or cosplaying, or in the wrong f***ing anime. I decided to look like homeless Jesus because this Jesus Christ the Demon Slayer. If you want more drips and wish to look special, then pay the f*** up. After that, you get three rolls to get a chance to be born into a good family, because just like in reality, some families are more privileged than others. The special perks of the rare families range from overpower to kind of ass. So pray to Orange Jesus that you get into a good one. But if you're Saudi prince with a lot of bobux, then uh, you can just... And if you want the Kamado family, then have fun sitting there for an hour and wait for things to roll. Now, if you don't have bobux, you got two choices. Either suck it up and get extra rolls by prestiging or resetting your progression with white potions by grinding like a no-life. Or if you're a smartass, create new Roblox accounts for three free rolls. Aw, uh, you mother that would have stopped me if I didn't have a load of alts. It's free real estate. If you didn't know, Demon Fall is actually the sequel of Running Simulator, as you will spend most of your playtime running and getting lost. I don't know what the creators were smoking when they thought that a comically large map with little to no contents is a good way to make the gameplay interesting, but I definitely know they were high on PCP when they decided to not add a map or waypoint GPS in this game. To further enhance the suffering, there's this never dissipating fog that reduces your visibility to absolute sh**. I thought this is supposed to be Japan. No, f in Lawton. Luckily, you can fast travel between villages and hideouts, but that just makes a 20 minutes running session into a 10 minutes running session. So if you're someone who struggles navigating to your classroom during their first day of high school, good luck. As someone who have a good sense of direction, playing this game makes me feel like an NVLD patient. So apart from the constant running around, Demon Fall is a pretty basic Roblox RPG. You level up, get new abilities, buff up your characters, and do it all over again so you can get a few extra levels. There are also trinkets around the map for you to pick up and sell for cash. You know what they say, one man's trash is another man's garbage, and if you're good at scamming people, you can sell the useless garbage for cash. You got anything? Yes, I found this jar that smells like piss. What a f would I want to buy that? It's a uh, piss- a uh, gold- golden, it's golden. I'll take your entire stock. Slayer storyline is basically scuffed demon slayer. You get back home after getting some morning woods and find out that your entire family got massacred by a demon in very comical ways. I mean, look at this. Fucking died sitting in the cart. Why are you in the fucking cart? And this dude literally stopped inside the fucking barrel. <laughs> then you pick up your dad's sword and light spam the demon to death. But you weren't satisfied. You wanted more blood. You wanted to come in genocide. So you were like, I want to discover the reason why my family was murdered. And until then, I'll keep shanking demons. Look, man. The reason could be very simple. The demon dude could just be hungry. He's not him or he's hungry. Anyways, after some times, your uncle comes and blah blah blah. Sobbing story. He didn't read. He tells you to go find some bitches in some soup shack. So you walk like a few hundred miles to some sh little village to find, you know, some bitches in some soup shack. Hey, f off. I'm drinking soup. My uncle sent me. Oh, sh you're the orphan. Uh. If you want to become a demon slayer, you gotta learn how to breathe. I know how to breathe. No, you don't. Uh. Then she tells you where you can learn breathing, at some white peak, some 
fucking coast forest and some Okuyai village. And of course, you have absolutely no idea where these locations are. Then she tells you to do the final selection exam and refuse to elaborate further. Great game, what do I do now? Well, you go on YouTube and search up Demon Fall Final Selection Guide because you don't know where it is nor how to do it. This is where you find some prestige 10 dude with 100 hours of playtime telling you that the final selection is easy. Oh, uh, you can just solo it with that shitty rusty sword of yours by light spamming and dodging. Yeah, one minor detail, I play Roblox, I'm kind of retarded and I just f***ing started playing this game like 5 minutes ago. And spamming 3 lights then dodge doesn't work so well against demons with special abilities. Of course, me being an absolute epic gamer, I soloed it. But for all the kids out there struggling, just go grab some randoms and do it together. Because the final selection exam is just like an online exam, it's easier with the boys. Now, for the breathing style, you can learn it before or after the final selection. Learning it before would help you a bit if you have a lack of skills, but it requires money and demon horns to learn, and sadly for you, you're broke. Your parents didn't pay off their mortgage and were in crippling debt, so you got two choices. Either be a self-made man and work hard farming demons and trinkets, or bang. After the final selection, you get a better katana because your dad's old katana smells like bathroom, and then you go back to the woman. Okay, so apparently your family got murdered by Muzen Kibutsuji. Suji, whatever. Who the f is that? Michael Jackson! And the progenitor of all demons. That's interesting. Why don't you back it up with a source? My source is that I made it the f up. You know what? I'm not complaining. Killing Muzan will end the whole demon race. We're basically committing genocide. I'm genocide. Right, now go kill Okuro, the former Lower Moon Six. He sounds kind of strong. You know, I, I just became a demon slayer, right? Yeah, will be alright. Ah! You get absolutely ass raped because the difficulty just went from 0 to 100 real f quick. So you go on YouTube and watch some tutorials on how to defeat this red fat f Jesus Christ, they're all cheese. Oh, so I just have to stand in this one spot? Oh, and if I shank him before the cutscene, I can just one-shot him? Sounds fair. I'ma do it. How are you so strong? Uh, bad game design? Tell me where I can find Muzan. Okay. Shit, didn't expect it to be that easy. He's at McDonald's. Bruh. So you go back to the woman. Okay, now go see the boss man at the Demon Slayer core base. Where is that? You know what, I'll just go on YouTube. So you go to the Slayer core base, getting lost on the way there a few times like usual, and meet the hey, boss man. What the f happened to your face? Go kill demons. Okay. okay. Oh, Alright, I killed the demons. What happened to your face? Go kill demons. Oh, okay. Help me! Help me! God damn, you won't believe what happened. I just killed an orphan who just wants a family. My f***er was a lower moon five, appeared out of nowhere, and I got absolutely ass raped, so I just ganked him with some friends. Friendship sure is powerful. Also, can I know what happened to your face? Go kill demons. Okay. Oh god, this lower moon 2 guy just came out of nowhere and started whooping my ass. So I got him behind this fence, right? And the dumbass didn't know what to do, he was just stuck there. So I just shanked him to death through the fence. So what happened to your face? Go kill demons. Okay. Oh, what the f*** happened? Then you get teleported to Muzan's sex dungeon, where you fight three upper moons with three Hashiras. First, you fight Akaza. You just trap him behind a wall and shank him to death. Then, there's Duma. You just trap him behind a wall and shank him to death. Finally, there's this ADHD looking ass. I don't know if you can trap him behind a wall, but I do know that you can just circle around him and shank him to death. If you have skill issues, sick help. And that's the end of the Slayer storyline, basically. Same beginning, but this time you have severe skill issue and loses to the demon. You wake up in some hobo camp and realize you got dementia and can remember sh**. So you walk up to this guy and he's like, I'm finally awake. Hey, I'm Charles. Totally didn't massacre your family. What? What? You were found on the street half dead, so we gave you some demon blood to heal you and now you're a demon. Damn, did the guy who gave me his blood have STD? Who knows, guy's been alive for like 300 years, so probably. Fuck. Also, you're allergic to sunlight and wisteria flowers now. Fuck. 
After that, Charles told you to get stronger. So you go and kill some slayers to level up, and while you're level 5, you go to the alchemist to awaken your blood demon art. Guy brings you to your mind where you see your forgotten family and your deep, deep dark, dark fantasy. fantasy. You then have to face the slayer version of yourself who was able to defeat the demon in the beginning. Bro, you gotta have some serious skill issue if you manage to get killed by that weak ass demon. Bro, shut the fuck up. At least I don't have asthma. I have to breathe with my mouth. And look, I'm not the one with STD. Oh my god, you're so annoying. <laughs> I'm you. Luckily for you, because you're fighting yourself, the other you also doesn't know how to parry block dodge. And after that, you get your blood demon art. Unlike breathing style, you don't get to choose it. It's random. So pray to Iron Jesus that you get a good one. Alright, I got my voodoo magic. Good. Now go slay some demon slayers. Ah, uh, I see what you did there. <laughs> You're pretty strong, way stronger than my weak ass. I don't know why you're listening to my orders. Yeah, me neither. Anyways, you gotta go see that man. Who's that man? A rapper? Now it's Michael Jackson and the progenitor of all demons. So you go to Michael Jackson's sex dungeon and he was like, hee hee, I'm Michael Jackson. I totally didn't kill your family. <laughs> what? What? Yeah, bring me 30 broken Nietzsche rings. What are you gonna do with all the broken katanas? Shove it up my ass! Ow! What? What? Okay, go kill that old fart. Let's stop! That was pretty easy. All I had to do was spam ranged attacks. Now go to that village and commit genocide. Oh yes, yeah, my speciality. I'm fucking invincible! Oh, the fuck? <laughs> stop right there! What a are you? Former Wind Hashira. Now prepare to die. What if I just spam ranged attacks? Please don't do that. Oh god, I just spam ranged attack again and he fing died. Breathing styles can be obtained by completing small quests from the trainers. Those quests can range from pay the f up to fight my wives who ran away from domestic abuse, then pay the f up. The devs put the trainers around the map to encourage explorations, but since exploring in this game literally gives you stage 5 cancer, it's better to search them up on YouTube. Once you learn a breathing style, you can start breathing manually like kids with asthma to charge up your oxygen bar so you can commit cellular respiration to use your abilities. When you have oxygen, your sword it also gains a passive on hit effect that is different for every breathing style. You can only have one breathing style at a time, even though you could technically use multiple at once. It will have been nice so people can finally shut the f up about which breathing style is the best. If you want to change it, you have to buy a breath index to remove your current breathing. To level up your oxygen bar, you gotta spend 500 yen, which is the equivalent of 4 American dollars, on a gourd and play a very fun and engaging minigame for 2 minutes. Every level makes your bar go up faster and go down slower and at level 10 which is the max level the bar doesn't go down because at that level you can start doing photosynthesis and no longer need to breathe currently there are 10 breathing styles some are good some are bad and some are absolutely <laughs> busted no the insect breathing is not that bad the poison damage stack and you can just poke and run yeah try to poke and run after i an instant kill combo your ass with sun breathing or like moon breathing or whatever the f oh yeah if you're a slayer you can also get a shotgun you can commit some 12 gauge war crimes with that sh good for combo very similar to breathing styles, but instead of choosing, you get one randomly. If you're shit, you can reset it with moves and blood. Wait, doesn't his blood have syphilis or some shit that makes you explode if you drink too much of it? Anyways, unlike breathing styles, using blood demon arts drains your stamina, and the abilities are more long-range focused. So if you want to, you can be very annoying and just kite the shit out of the slayers. The most busted art is the ice one. Just spam clones and be obnoxious as f There are also two fighting styles that you can learn as a demon. Sorry you and great sort. One where you punch and kick people very hard and the other where you do funny big damage and run out of stamina. Nothing much to say about them since what you should get depends on your blood demon art. Now on a completely unrelated note, the combat animations in this game are really good and some moves like thunderclap do be clapping hard on the cool factor. Makes me orgasm every time I use that shit. If you really like a breathing style or blood demon art, just use it. It doesn't matter if they're bad, you can still be decent. Just know that someone with similar skill will always clap you hard with fucking sun or moon breathing. Shit, that doesn't help the argument. Hybrids are like Italians. They were slayers, and they were like, oh shit, we're losing. So they just switched side and became demons. They're basically demons who can use breathing arts. Except some breathing, because that would be basically suicide. You have to be a hybrid to use moon breathing, because 
I don't know. I didn't read the manga. It's about drive, it's about power. We stay hungry, we devour. I almost died of brain aneurysm while grinding for this game. First, you don't want to do the crow quest because the reward is dog shit. So unless you're a role player, do yourself a favor and turn that annoying piece of shit off. After the story quest, the most efficient way to level up is to go on Discord and sit there until someone says something along the line of Kai on me or Kai in my server. When that happens, join their server as fast as possible, go to the Kai location and either just sit there, grab some popcorn and watch other people fight it and leech off their hard work. Or be the hard-working one and beat him yourself. I usually do the watching. Call me fat, I don't care. If you're a slayer who's good at the game, you can also farm the infinity castle. It takes a lot of time, but gives really good XP. There's a six-hour cooldown, but you can easily bypass that by joining someone else's squad. If you're a demon, then you don't get the luxury of infinity castle, so your only option is to farm Kai for the 100th time. Just a friendly reminder, every time you die, you lose 25% of your current XP and some of your money. God will collect his resources spawn tax. Every time you level up, you get one skill point that you can spend on your body, abilities, or M1 spam damage. Just spend them carefully since you don't get enough to max out all your stuff. Unless you're prestige 10 and have no life, of course. You also gotta oh, grind for money by scavenging around for trinkets like a hobo, and mine ores and fight the crystal demon to get better sword. Then you gotta do all that all over again when you prestige. You kinda have to farm for it because every prestige gives you 5 extra levels. And you can only get moon breathing and slayer mark which gives you huge buffs after you prestige. Pro tip, use a not account to store all your shits before prestiging. You can also use it to farm rerolls with wiping potions. Just know that sometimes, when you drop all your money, the game might go full DA mode and confiscate all your money for no reason. Happened to me once. Stop playing for a month. So yeah, that's about it. Have fun playing the game 10 times. For PvE, just cheese the boss and spam combos to win. Maybe mix in some parry block dodge in between so you feel like you're actually playing the game instead of mindlessly smashing buttons. And just like Minecraft, eating heals you. So bring plenty of food, just like Minecraft. For PvP, first try to max out everything because uh, most people in PvP are prestige 10. It wouldn't be really fair if you're level 50 fighting a dude who's level 100, unless he has severe skill issue and possible iron deficiency, of course. Now to find your opponents, you gotta go to rank. Since the overworld is like a post-apocalyptic ghost town, it has a player limit of 10 and the map is so f***ing big that you'll likely run into nobody. Next step, all you gotta do is find some crack-ass combo online. Then run around until you can get one M1 in to start your cutscene combo. So yeah, basically, get one light attack in and magically make your opponent's HP disappear. You don't get to block parry dodge because once that f***ing combo starts, you can't block parry dodge. So why not just sit back, relax, bring some popcorns and watch. At least the animation is good, right? After running more distance than a car that cannot be sold because of its high mileage, you're finally prestige 10. Now what? Well, at least you don't have to go through the tedious grind ever again and you can start clapping kids in ranked with one-shot combo to get Hashiro or upper moon rank. You probably spent like a hundred rerolls or something to get the Kamado family so you can flex that scar on your forehead you got when your mom dropped you accidentally when you were a kid. And you probably tried all the breathing styles but still choose to use sun and moon breathing because they're overpowered. Some of play this game so much they achieve total concentration breathing in real life and forgot how to breathe with their nose which is bad because you're not supposed to breathe with your mouth anyways that's about it for demon fall subscribe like and spam me or i will make you breathe manually for the rest of your life